took a wrong turn there, didn't you? If you're trying to find your way to town, you're way off the beaten path. Did your friends send you to scout the area all by yourself? Oh, well that's really unlucky. Probably wish you'd gotten procurement duties at the local market, huh? I only like it when there's a good weapon shop around. Otherwise, it's boring picking up other useless stuff like potions. What fun is there when you aren't out there living on the edge, you know? The only thing I've got on me is my weapon, and that's all I need. What about you? Are we on an even playing field right now? Ah, uh ah, -uh. no backing off. You've got a job to do, remember? You're supposed to gather all the information about what you see, correct? You can't do that unless you know what you're up against. Well, you've got to fight me to find out, don't you? You know, I've always wanted to have a chance at fighting you, but everyone else just gets in the way. So I'd like for you to indulge me right now. Who knows when there will be another chance? I've got to take this one while I have it. I want to taste your fresh blood on my blade. Look at that soft, untouched skin of yours. Your friends protect you so well, don't they? Look at that soft, untouched skin of yours. Your friends protect you so well, don't they? Then, let me be the first to mark you. Show you what real strength looks like. <gasps> <laughs> we can't have that now, can we? Oh, look at that pretty skin. Perfect as it should be. Oh, let's just fix up your hair a bit. And there. I can't believe someone would have the audacity to make a mess of such a sweet little face. <laughs> hmm. But you can't go around enticing all of your enemies. It complicates things for me. Who the hell do you think you are? This is a one-on-one -on -one fight. No one asked for backup. I don't recall you giving me a reason to answer that. Only good boys and girls are allowed to ask questions. Look. I'm not here to play games. I've got something to settle, so unless you've got a death wish, leave. <laughs> Neither am I. I've been looking for a chance to catch my little angel alone, which you so ungraciously decided to ruin my plans for. I've spent so much time and effort memorizing schedules and setting up a nice getaway, but now I have to deal with yet another nuisance. So, I'll try to make this quick so we can be on our way. I'll take you somewhere where I can assure you'll be safe. I can't trust your friends to do that for you. Look at what it's got you into. So I have to take this into my own hands. Hmm. How about I start by killing this leech over here? You know, spilling blood is a nice way of showing how strong you are. And being the first one to do it to your opponent is something special. Sorry, but you won't be getting any firsts with my little angel. All of those are already reserved. 
How about I ruin whatever sick thoughts you've got in your head by ripping apart that image you have of that little angel of yours? Start by giving some cuts in all the places you like best. So tell me, what parts do you fantasize about the most? <laughs> I never thought I'd live in a world where being enamored with someone would be considered more sick than wanting to taste the blood of your enemies. But maybe that kind of thinking will die with you. The only thing that's going to die is whatever interest you have in our friend here. Maybe once you see all the cuts I'm going to make, you'll finally leave us alone so we can properly fight. Oh, is that your way of trying to keep my angel all to yourself? Well, unfortunately, unlike some people, I don't just have superficial taste. I appreciate even the little things others wouldn't notice. Like the nice things you do for your friends even when they don't notice it. Like adding different ingredients to their meals based on their preferences. When you pick your favorite outfit you save to wear in town when you're on shopping duty. And when you do that cute thing where even if you don't find what you need, you still buy something because you feel guilty if you leave with nothing. Oh, then you head to the inn and carefully wash your clothes because you don't trust anyone else to do it. Hmm. And once you've finished your bath, you pull back the covers and lie in bed. <sighs> My bed. When we finally get you home. Maybe I should just do us all a favor and end you right now so I can put us out of our misery. And let you cut up my little angel like you were going to before I got here? I'll slice your throat before you take one step over here. I don't think you know who you're dealing with. I don't think you realize just how much I know about you. What, are you stalking me too? I know how you fight. I've seen this group deal with you before, and I noticed a pattern. You have this really funny thing you do with your wrist when you try to twist your blade. And you did the same thing as you always do when I blocked your attack. <laughs> then you'd know that I wasn't aiming to kill. I hold back when I just want to play. But when I don't, it's a lot harder to keep up with me. But you would know that, right? Hmm. Do you want to try your luck? <laughs> would you like to know his weakness? You're going to have to be more specific than that. You know exactly who I mean. Yeah? Who? You always have trouble once he uses that barrier spell. He has a pretty interesting way of casting it, you know? It's a little unconventional, but once you've seen it, you can get rid of him for good. Then you can slice and dice whoever you want in that group to your heart's content. And I'm supposed to believe this when you've never taken advantage of it? <laughs> you said it yourself. I have trouble keeping up with that kind of power. But you should have no trouble with someone of that caliber, right? What do you know? A lot. As long as you agree to keep your hands off my little angel. Everyone else is fair game. I make no promises. My lips are sealed, then. Then I'll just end you myself right here if you aren't going to be of use to me. Then I guess you'll just have to figure out things on your own. Maybe you'll make a bit of progress after another... What? Hundred or so tries? <sighs> Just give us a second to finish things up, and I'll back off. I don't trust you not to go back on your word. You've got information I want. I'm not passing up on that. Nothing bad is going to happen to your crush, I assure you. <sighs> Two minutes. More than enough time. If you want a way out of being dragged into whatever sick plan she has in store for you, I've got one. Once I've got the information I need, she's fair game. I can put an end to all of it. You can sleep soundly knowing she's not watching your every move and waiting for a chance to snatch you away. You know what I want from you. Give it to me, and you'll have one less thing to worry about. I'll be back very soon once I learn how to deal with that mage friend of yours, so you have until then to decide. Make it obvious for me. <laughs> Alright, look. 
Your crush is perfectly fine. Now hurry up and tell me what I want to know. <laughs> really? Do you think I just let you two be the only ones to spend some alone time together like that? You can wait patiently until we're done talking. <laughs> two minutes. Three, if you want some tips on the rest of the group. I'm keeping time. Fine by me, as long as you give us enough space. <sighs> Can you believe him? The audacity to get in the way like that. I'm not stupid to think that he wouldn't try to harm you again. I imagine once he's heard what I have to say, he'll come after you and your friends. I already have a way out for you. I wanted to take you there now, but he's not going to let me do that. But once we're done, all agreements are off. You're not safe anymore with your friends, but you can be with me. I'll take you somewhere where you don't have to worry about whether you'll make it to the next day. Trust me, I've prepared for a very long time, and I can guarantee you'll be able to live a life tailored exactly to your needs. All you need to do is say the word, and I'll make it a reality. Well, <laughs> I plan to do so anyway, but it'll be easier if you agree. I might need to make some quick decisions once the fighting starts, so I want you to be prepared so you aren't surprised by anything I decide to do. I'll be on watch the whole time, just like I always am. Because I'm your guardian angel, just like you are mine. So if you want me to take you away sooner, throw me a signal and I'll do it. Just make it obvious for me. 